Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Messes with Michelle. Thanks so much if you're returning, and if you're new, welcome. My name's Michelle. Today's video is all about my upstairs TV room, or I like to call it my she cave. I'm giving this room a full transformation makeover to make it a space of my own. Right now, there's really not much going on in this space. It's just a mishmash of just stuff I found around the house, so I really want to transform it into a space that I absolutely love. So if you like these types of videos, make sure you stick around to see the full transformation, and if you haven't already done so, make sure hit that subscribe button because I love to take you on my messy journey because my videos are dedicated to how-to videos, DIYs, and lots of cleaning motivation. With every good makeover, you definitely have to take everything out of the space just to have a nice clean canvas to work with and I'm really happy there was really not much to remove from this space and I ended up just keeping the TV stand as well as the couch in the room. The couch was so incredibly hard to get in so I just thought I'd leave it in here and work around it. Here's a quick check-in of the space. After I finished moving everything out of the room, I actually taped up all the edges around my baseboards and I cleaned the baseboards, washed down the walls, as removed all the cover plates and all the outlets, excluding one, which you'll see in just a second, which is a little bit stubborn. The screw did not want to come out. So I just did this off camera and it's always important to prep the space and make sure you follow the right steps because you don't want to go in with nice, clean, fresh paint and then have marks on the walls or things that you have to sand down. So it does take time. It did take about an hour to get everything taped up but I'm happy that I did because during my painting process I had a few slip-ups where I ended up going over the painters tape and I'm really happy that it was there because this way I didn't have to go back and worry about cleaning off the baseboards. The color that I chose for the walls is called Silver Sadness by Benjamin Moore from the Regal Select line and it's the ultra matte finish. I always go with Benjamin Moore on my walls. I've always had good results and I just absolutely love the finish. So I'll just show you quickly what I'm using to edge my walls and it's the Bennett edger and it has small wheels and a small pad that you put the paint on and just run along the edges and I love this nice clean lines and it really speeds up the process. All right, so I trimmed the entire room because it just was too difficult to do it on camera and I know it's so hard to tell and it doesn't really translate well on camera the color but you can see that all around here is the paint that I just painted. So it's a white with um, gray in it. When it came to choosing the paint color, I knew that I wanted to have a nice clean look, so I wanted to choose something very light. And I also wanted to choose a light color because this room is not very big, and I didn't want to choose anything that was really deep and very dark, so this way it felt like the walls were closing in on you. And I also have a really dark gray couch as well as my TV stand, so I just envisioned having the walls a very light color. And you'll see a little bit later, all the decor that I have for this space have pops of dark color so it was really great to have a very blank canvas to work with so this way I could work with my decor and add the pops of color that I was looking for. Altogether I used two coats of paint on the wall and the first coat just got sucked in to the wall because it was just a builder's paint so the first coat took a little bit longer to apply but the second coat it just glided on like butter. So here's a quick check-in of the walls. You can see the gray undertones when it's against the closet door, so you can see that there's a bit of undertone on the wall and it's not just purely white. So now I'm going in to start my custom shelves and here's the inspiration behind the look. It's the legs of my TV stand that have the faux wood color. So I wanted to incorporate that on my shelves. So I had these boards around the house and I just cut them in half to 28 inches long and I'm using the Minwax gel stain in the coffee color. All you really have to do is take a brush, apply the stain to the board, let it sit for three minutes just to help absorb into the wood and then go back with a lint-free cloth. I used a cheese cloth to wipe away any excess stain off the boards. If you are wanting to have a desired deeper look, all you have to do is wait eight to 10 hours for the board to dry and go back in and reapply the stain and follow the same steps. This is the first time I'm using an actual stain and I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't too sure what to expect, but I have to tell you for a newbie when it comes to staining, this product was so easy to use. So if you are new like me with staining projects, definitely look into this particular stain. So now I'm gonna go in with my Rust-Oleum and I'm just gonna spray my brackets for my shelf just to make sure that they're the color that I'm looking for because I want to have them very dark to match the wood color. I'm sharing with you my IKEA hack. I bought this shelf a while ago and the boards were way too light for the space. So I'm actually gonna stain them and what I did is I sanded down the top sheen or coating. I'm not too sure it was on the actual shelf just to give it a little bit of a rough edge to work with. Then I applied the stain 
and I let it sit on the board for actually six minutes, not the three, because it had that gloss on it, and I want to make sure the stain really penetrated the wood. So after six minutes, I removed the stain, and then I went back in after 24 hours and replied a second coating of that stain, and I'm so happy that I made this decision to change the color because it looks absolutely beautiful, and I absolutely love the way it looks and turns out, which you'll see a little bit later. I'm going ahead and removing all the painter's tape from my baseboards now that the paint's dry and it takes so quick to just remove all this painter's tape, it takes so long to apply so it's nice when you can actually finally remove it. Then I'm going to go back in and put all the face plates back on my electrical outlets. I'm going ahead and assembling my new side table that I bought from Ikea and it's actually what inspired this whole look for this room and specifically the legs. You're going to see here in just a second they're black with a bit of gold so that inspired the color scheme for the rest of my home decor. So everything started with these legs when it comes to how I wanted to envision my space and I'm so happy this table was lightweight, it's easy to move around and it was easy to assemble. So here everything is assembled and I just absolutely love how everything turned out and I'm really happy that I made the decision to buy this because it looks great in the space. I wanted to incorporate some color into the room and I thought pink would be a great combination with the black and the gold as well as the grey. I found these pillow covers from Urban Barn and I'm really happy with them. Not only because they're on sale, I bought two covers for $50 when originally they're usually one for $50. So I saved quite a bit of money on these pillows and I just love the way they look on the couch. I found these pillow covers from Ikea and I wanted to have colors on the couch that were a little bit lighter because the couch is so dark and it's so grey so I wanted to use accents of just lighter colors just to help break up all the grey in the room. Here's a final look of the boards for my IKEA hack shelf and I'm so happy how everything turned out. It just goes to show you just adding a bit of stain it transforms something that was already pre-made. I'm so happy that I made the decision to change the color because it just looks absolutely beautiful in this space and I have to say it's probably one of my favorite pieces in this room. This ottoman is called the pumice and it's from Yisk and I just had to assemble the legs onto the base. A big thank you to Bobby for hanging up my shelves for me. I was being so indecisive of the height but he was very patient and we finally came to a decision of what height they should be. So I put curtains in this space and I was kind of going back and forth if I should use curtains and I'm glad that I made the decision to do so because it ties in the space really well. These are the Sonora curtains from Yisk and they are 96 inches. They are a little bit long but they look great in the room. All my decor for the shelves was a combination of things I purchased from HomeSense as well as Ikea. So the books are from HomeSense and they're just like a faux book to hide some stuff inside. And this vase is actually from a grocery store. Who would think you'd find something so beautiful there? It was meant to be. It was the only one there so I scooped it up because I knew that it was going to go so well with my theme. The small clock and succulents are also from Ikea. I'm so happy to find a home for this picture. It's been in my house for over six months, just sitting on the floor. I originally bought it to put in my home office downstairs in my dining room, but it didn't quite go. So it sat around and it's almost like it was waiting to be on the shelf because it worked out perfectly because it already had the gold trim frame. And I'm just pairing it beside this little bonsai tree that I had already downstairs in my living room. So I just brought it upstairs to add some greenery.
The succulents as well as the hourglass, these are also from Ikea. When I was designing the room, I knew the space needed a side table and that's why it's one of the first thing that I purchased because for over a year I was using Bobby's guitar amp as my table and I knew that one day my luck would run out and I'd spill something on it so having this table is a great addition to the room. This is the wall above my couch and I wanted to add a picture and I found one at HomeSense and it's just a simple look. It has a bit of pink and it has the dark wood frame that goes well with the other wood shelves that I have in this room. And I found this throw from Ikea and I just loved it as soon as I saw it and had to have it. My couch is so large and it is really dark so just adding a bit of pop of color really breaks up all that darkness on this side of the room. I absolutely love how everything turned out in this space. I think that it just is so beautiful and it just speaks my personality and everything that I envisioned for this space came to life and I'm just so happy with the outcome. It feels like a different space, it feels warm, it feels cozy and it feels like a place that I want to hang out. Before there was really not much going on, it was a blank canvas, it was just a mishmash as I mentioned of things that I had around the house. But now everything blends together, it looks beautiful and I just can't wait to start hanging out in this room. I really hope you enjoy today's transformation and coming along with my journey to transform this space into a place I absolutely love. Thank you so much for joining me and just as a reminder, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and just those who are new to my channel, I upload a new video every Sunday, so hopefully I'll see you next Sunday.